unusual capacity crowd, better than 19,000, making their way into the Staples Center in downtown. Los Angeles Laker fans are hoping for the completion of yet another sweep to move on to the NBA Finals, while the Spurs are hoping to extend to a Game 5 back in San Antonio on Tuesday night. Today it's Game 4 of the Best of Seven Western Conference Final. The surging Los Angeles Lakers going up against the San Antonio Spurs. Shaq with two on the 24. Oh, man. See, that can't happen. You're in a big game right now, and that, that has to make Greg Popovich very unhappy. David Robinson forced a tough shot. They have to come up with a rebound. Spurs do get back. Kobe accelerates. And this is bad news for the Spurs. They wanted to get out of the gate quickly. They dug themselves a 13-point hole in game three. They have not been able to hit a shot. The Lakers, offensive rebounds, fast break points. Horace Grant hitting a jumper. The Spurs must regroup right now. David Robinson got off quickly. He didn't, and I don't think he ever recovered that entire game. And I think part of the philosophy was to get David Robinson involved early. Kobe Bryant involved early. The Lakers have not done that much double teaming, and so as a result, they've been able to smother those three-point shooters, have not got the same opportunities. O'Neal, his way. O'Neal. Again, the hustle play. This time, Grant. The with a play like that. Those plays demoralize you. Shaquille O'Neal once again getting position on David Robinson. Now that's a set play. Shaq gets deep in the post and Kobe throws right down the gut of the defense. The Spurs have to overplay that pass back to the top. Step by Shaq. He looked, I, I thought, as if he were affected on that very first shot attempt first 30 seconds of the game that was able to recover it was here's Fisher yes he is in some kind of rhythm no hesitation whether it's from the three-point line coming off the screen he just let it go Mark Matson on the floor for the first time for the Lakers Fox just like that Kobe penetrates finds the man three-point shot Eric Fisher okay he's not even hitting the rim Corey O'Neal and Fox on the front line, and Shaq is fouled. And that's just a mismatch. They haven't even been close enough here in some of these games to make the hack to Shaq a possibility. I mean, O'Neal off the recovery. And a blocking foul is called on Ferry. Phil said this has been more of a dominant fashion by this team, which is totally. Unexpected. They, they just cannot hit their shots. Right. While the Lakers continue their sensational shooting. Kobe's now four for four. That's his first three. And the Spurs were talking about the lack of belief. Shaquille O'Neal, the lack of belief in the second half. What are they thinking right here? Well, Kobe's just breaking them down defensively. He just gets in the lane. Somebody's got to come help, Marv. You can't let him get to the basket. And when you do, you drop it off to Shaq, and he scores the ball. Now the next time you space the floor, look at all the penetration he gets. He gets in the lane, Malik Rose comes over to help, and slow rotation by Tim Duncan, and one more dunk by the Lakers. Oh, with another rebound, finding Shaq. You know, going to the box score, game three, Robert Ory, one for ten from the field in 34 minutes. But that, that tells you nothing, because he was on every loose ball. He had 12 rebounds. Nice Shot clock at seven. Oh. Another Spurs turnover. Shaq leads the board. Shaq! Pass for Kobe. Look at Shaq. Look at Shaq putting down the ball. You think he's having some fun? <laughs> I thought it was Magic Johnson on that play. Once again, the San Antonio Spurs are being dismantled. Look at Shaquille on this play. Look at his eyes. I'm in the open court. I'm going to make a play. Jumps down on the floor. Tongue wagon. Looks away to Kobe, who drops it back. And 
and then the powerful dunk, and then he's having some fun running back down the floor. There's nothing wrong with that ankle. Robinson off the double team. And lost it. He thought he was foul. Kobe penetrates. Going glass. It looked like the Spurs tried to take a foul. They grabbed his arm. Popovich might get ejected here. He's got to do something to get some life in his team. He felt that David Robinson was hammered in the lane. No call. In miraculous fashion from the, the kidney transplant. Began the season actually as the San Antonio Spurs TV color commentator. 14 points now for Kobe Bryant. The largest lead at halftime in NBA playoff history. 40 point differential. Detroit against Washington. Jack now has 21. Another dunk. One of the reasons he's been able to score, he's one of the few guys that have the speed and quickness. just pushes aside Malik Rose, who's trying desperately to try to keep him away from the rim, just cannot do it. And look at the ball movement, the passing. Once again, Shaq right at the front of the rim. The next time down the floor, he gets caught with the offensive foul and will sit. Lakers comfortably up by 22. Here's Bryant. That's why you have stars. Find your basket, get yourself going once again. Accustomed to the Lakers scoring on nearly every possession. Fox for three. So the lead is back to 20. Bryant played by the double. Bryant somehow able to work himself free. Just squeeze through, to, through two defenders. He is so lightning quick. Fifty for three. Look at Kobe, off the spin, able to split his way through. And now Bryant finding the open Derek Fisher, who fires and hits from deep in the corner. Lakers up by 20. You know, Marv, even through this lull by the Lakers, San Antonio's only been able to take three points off the lead, and now we're down to almost eight minutes in the quarter that they've lost. So time's slipping away right now. They, they have got to put something together. See Lisa Leslie and the Sparks taking on Tina Thompson and the four-time defending champion Comets. And then more NBA playoff action. Well, when you talk about diesel power, only one guy, Shaquille O'Neal, you can be speaking about. Look at the power. Now look at Tim Duncan's face. And Shaq punishes the players inside. Look at his little bounce. And just look at how far he drives the defense back into the lane. The power inside. And that takes its toll. He just wears you down. So come third, fourth quarter time, you just don't have the legs to finish off the game. Look at Malik Rose, Tim Duncan, look at each other. And, you know, we talked to Shaq early in the year, and he said, you know what? Guys might want to bang with me for a quarter, or maybe two, maybe three, but in the fourth quarter, they are not going to be standing. And, you know, Mark, one of the things we've seen is we always talk about big guys got to make their open shots against Shaq. But come fourth quarter, they don't have any legs. That, that shot is not there. That's it. Never in their wildest dreams, I don't think, do they ever imagine they would get dismantled and embarrassed like they are right now. Ryan with the step. And hit from behind by Elliott. Well, the Spurs are now shooting only 38% from the field. Lakers at 54%. Doug, do you get the idea that there's a weakest link theme working here? <laughs> now, Monday at 9, 8 Central, right here on NBC. Vanessa, what do you think of him not cutting his hair during this streak? It's going to be as long as yours. Well, I think it's great. I, I, I'm the one who's uh, encouraging him. If he's, if he's feeling good about it, then why not? You know? This young guy just keeps coming at you. Watch his play now. He goes in, goes away from David Robinson, hangs in the air. Oh, wow. Just, the, the hits keep on rolling. All right, here's Bryant giving it back. Fisher for three. Yes! The things that these guys have done here in Los Angeles, specifically Jerry West, deserves a lot, a lot of credit. They played tremendous basketball for a lot of years out here. Fisher again for three. 
but it, it certainly was helpful uh, for his head when there was all that tension going on between Toby and Bruce. Toby drops one. Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal and Phil Jackson taking little shots from time to time. You know, I broadcast that series, and I'll never forget that Tim Duncan. I can't be Derek Fisher throwing another one in. Come on, Fish, give us a break here. He looks like he can't believe it. <laughs> the Spurs just winding it down. The Los Angeles Lakers running the table for the first three rounds of the playoffs. 19 straight wins. 11. Their third consecutive sweep as they defeat the Spurs 111-82. Jaquiel O'Neal, 26 points, 10 rebounds. Kobe Bryant, 24 points, 10 assists. Derek Fisher on fire from downtown, 28 points in all. Shaq and his dad, Philip Harrison. There's Derek Fisher for the series. Kobe averages better than 33 per game. Shaq at 27 per game. Bob Lanier is now presenting the Western Conference Championship Trophy to Mitch Kupchak, general manager of the Lakers and the entire 2001 NBA Western Conference champion. Kobe, congratulations to you. I know this is just the first step in what you hope is another championship. Is that why we're still seeing the serious side? It's not all accomplished yet? Well, you know, we're, it's an enjoyable moment for us to win the Western Conference Championship. You know, to sweep a team like San Antonio means so much to us, uh, but there's so much work to be done. Because they broke your heart a couple of years ago when they swept the Lakers, how much of an incentive was that for the series? Well, today I think we use it as motivation uh, to come out and play harder and to stay focused on this team because they did sweep us in 99. So we kind of wanted, wanted to return the favor somewhat. Kobe, we look forward to seeing you in the finals. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Marv, they'll wait for Philly or Milwaukee.